Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, PlayStation 5 and Xbox version of the game, final polishing is happening on servers in Korea. Does that mean that we are getting closer to global release of Throne and Liberty? Well, that remains to be seen. However, PlayStation 5 and Xbox version of the game will be very important on gaming market regarding global version of the game. Let's check what is happening with consoles version of the game and when can we expect to see this version of the game to be released globally. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. As you can see, I'm already here on official website of Throne and Liberty in Korea. So first let's check what is currently happening regarding controller support of this game on servers in Korea. You can see here one of the recent updates and you can see from the title of this update, we have improved the usability of the gamepad. Improvements can be made to enable intuitive operation in terms of battle and menu operation. Before we continue to check all the recent changes, just to let you know, there are currently many players who are playing this game on PC with controller. Yes, I mean, obviously, PlayStation 5 and Xbox version of the game are still not released and we have get official information that one day in the future when we get global release on PlayStation 5 and Xbox that will also happen in Korea. So for now you need to be patient, we don't know when we'll get that release regarding consoles. Nevertheless, this here is looking like final polishing before global launch of the game. Let's check it out. We have improved the ability to recognize registered skills and cooldowns by displaying skill icons in the skill slot on page 2. Let's check how is this looking. This is looking actually pretty good. And we have already seen some gameplay footage from the game uh, from players in Korea. Like I said, some players are already playing this game on PC using controller and they say it's amazing. People who are already playing, I have that experience on my chat during the live stream. Many players are coming on chat and they are saying to me, they are using controller right now. They are playing on PC, obviously. Nevertheless, they are using controller and they say, these players are saying it's a triple A quality controller support for this game. Let's check further changes. Item quick slot. We have improved the ability to change items intuitively by using D-pad, left, right, controllers on HUD. Let's check this picture here. I mean, this is looking graphically pretty good, right? And you can see these are final polishing, at least in my opinion. You can change to the pre-update operation by changing the turn on stellar vision item in settings, gamepad, controls, customization to left D-pad, improved UI operation. All UI elements on the screen have been improved so they can be operated with the direction keys D-pad. Okay, this is interesting. Bag, bag changes. Improvements can be made so that the selections can be cycled in the bag list. So many polishing, right? These changes are not something crucial, but I would say, like I said, this is like final touch, right? Final touch on Xbox and PC version of the game. Item tooltip, we have added a, a view, a full menu a function to enable navigation of all menus on one page. This is how it was looking before the change. And this here is after the change. And let's check further. Basically, that's it. Error correction. So, final polishing, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, regarding PlayStation 5 and Xbox version of the game. We already know from before that Throne and Liberty is a cross-platform, cross-play kind of game. You can see here it's officially written. And Throne and Liberty is already listed on PlayStation Store and also here on Microsoft Store. So, Check it out, add this game to your wishlist. And like I said, regarding global release on PlayStation 5 and Xbox, we need to be patient. We need to be patient. Probably, probably, there is no official information, but probably at the same time, when we get PC version of the game, we also get release on consoles. Nevertheless, the only thing which is so far officially confirmed is that at the same time, when we get global release on consoles, it will be also released on consoles in Korea. That's it. Nothing else concrete regarding release on consoles. So far, we don't have any official information when we'll get the release of this game on consoles. Nevertheless, these changes, which are currently happening on servers in Korea, are looking very, very promising, right? This is really looking like final preparation for global launch on consoles. 
and of course on PC. Sadly, this evening we still didn't get any kind of new information from Amazon Games, publisher of this game for North America, South America, Europe and Japan, regarding global release of Throne and Liberty. I am checking daily all the official sources and some leaks, if there will be some leaks, regarding Throne and Liberty global release. In the meanwhile, I am playing Throne and Liberty on servers in Korea. Check my live streams on Twitch. I am live streaming every evening 6 p.m. Central European time. Join me on Twitch every evening to check what is happening with Throne and Liberty in Korea and also to be updated regarding what is happening with global version of this new upcoming title. For this evening, just to let you know that final polishing of PlayStation 5 and Xbox version of the game is happening over there on servers in Korea and what to say except uh, stay hyped stay positive if you are waiting for release of this game on consoles you will really enjoy you will really enjoy you have something to look forward to play in the future because i'm certain that nc soft before development of this game it's not by accident they will release this game for pc and consoles because they have made analysis of the market they have done analysis of the market and i'm certain they see a huge market globally for consoles when we are talking about number of players for global release of Throne and Liberty, I'm certain there will be maybe even 50% of the players playing this game on consoles. There is a currently gap on the market. There is a big empty space for one real MMORPG with controller support. Playing it, of course, on PlayStation 5 and Xbox. I am certain many players will enjoy playing this game on consoles because we have heard so far controller support is amazing. I didn't play it myself, I didn't play it myself on controller support. Nevertheless, other players who are using controllers to play this game right now, to play it on PC, they say it's amazing. So let's trust to these players and uh, let's hope that very soon we will see some kind of official announcement from Amazon Games regarding the release of this game on PlayStation 5, Xbox and of course on PC. It's very hard to say how many players will actually play this game for global release on consoles. Nevertheless, I can see all over social media, people are talking about that. People are talking about console version of Throne and Liberty. I can see, of course, many players wanting to play this game on PC. Yes, this game is already listed on Steam. Check it out, add it to your wish list. Nevertheless, I have seen also huge amount of players waiting to play this game on PlayStation 5 and Xbox. So really something to be excited about. And like I said, stay tuned, stay hyped here on my YouTube channel regarding all the news from World of Throne and Liberty for this evening to share with you my excitement and these uh, final polishing information regarding console version of the game. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. I'm live streaming every evening about 6 p.m. Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. See you soon.